Hey guys, today is August 27th and I've marked my calendar already and my new calendar, which is almost an old calendar, but getting towards the end of the year. Can't believe that. Anyway, um, today I'm going to work on my August calendar page and move all this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to show you the page that is the inspiration page. And you can read the quote. Cherish is the word, and it says children are like butterflies, each one different, beautiful, and to be cherished. So I'm going to take this page here and use it as my inspiration for this page here. And because it's Saturday, and I'm not usually up here on Saturday, um, that means my husband's working or doing something downstairs, so I'm probably just going to do it and fast forward and let you just watch the process today. So I'm going to get started by pulling out colors that are in the background of this page, which I've already done. I pulled out several colors that I'm still using out of the Deco Art box. If you buy that box, if you pretty much are limited with your colors because I haven't got my whole box of, of um, paint unpacked. I don't even know where it's at. Anyway, I've also pulled out some brown and white, and I have this spray. How do I, I want, I don't know how I wound up with this, but I um, might use it on here too. I don't know, I haven't decided that yet. And then I've got a couple of colors sitting off to the side that are in the butterflies, but I'm not sure where I'm going, if I'm gonna do butterflies, if I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just know I want to work on the background first. So I'm going to get started on that. And then when I get to the point where I know where I'm going to go, or what gear I'm going to change, I'll let you guys know. So let's get started, okay?
Okay, let's take a minute and let me show you the background up close for a second. I'm not really there yet with it. I'm not really happy with it yet. Um, but I'm afraid to take the next step because I know what I want to do on this page now. And I don't know if it'll work if I do what I want to do. If I, I, I want to bring more blue in. This is too, I don't know, too white, too not cohesive. I, I just don't know. Something's not right yet. But I might fill in the background a little bit more later. But what I want to do next, and I wanted to tell you about this. When I read this quote, children are like butterflies, but when I read the word children, immediately my mind went to something I saw a week or two ago that inspired me so, so, so much. And I love, love, love these so much that I really want to try to do one of my own. Um, I probably won't do justice to the one that inspired me, but it'll be, you know, I, I'm not like this other person. I'm not the same person, so of course it would be different. But Eileen McKinnis did some little girls, a little girl series, and they are so stinking cute. And I will link below to the video if I can find the video. If not, I'll link to her channel, <clears throat> to her channel, and you can find it. But I think this this little girl that she did is one of the most my most favorite things I've ever seen her do, and they are just adorable. So I want to try my hand at one because the word children made me think of that. And this coloring goes really well with what I think her children, um, I think her children would really fit on this page. So the next thing I'm gonna do is cut out a little dress. And I found some paper, luckily. I think I got this at Tuesday morning. It's just a little flower garden assortment of eight sheets. It's just one of those cheapy, I don't know, it doesn't say where I got it. Um, this is one of those cheapy packs you can get at, at Tuesday morning, I think. And I chose this one out of it because it just reminded me of little girls. I don't know if I'm going to get this much in there or not, this part. I'm going to try. You won't get much flour. You're going to have to sacrifice the flour or the check, so I just don't know. Anyway, I'm going to cut a dress from this. And then once the dress is cut out, I'm going to create the little girl on the page and hope to goodness that it comes out even an eighth cute like hers did. Even a smidge, just a smidge cute like hers did. <laughs> I was so impressed with those. I really loved them. And a lot of you probably um, have seen them because you probably all know who she is. Anyway, um, Eileen and I apologize in advance if I don't if I don't do your little girls justice, but boy oh boy, do I want to give it a try. They were so cute. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, and I thought I would take a minute to tell you where it was from, who who inspired it.
here's where we are right now. And I'm going to seal the page because right now it's just paint feel and I want to use my oil pastels and I don't want to use it on matte. I want to use it on a more slick surface. So I'm going to seal this page and I will be sealing in the pencil mark. I've already painted over it. I, I don't know if you'll see it when I'm done or not. We'll see. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do next. Seal the page and play with the oil pastels. And the oil pastels I'm using are just a cheap set from Hobby Lobby that I got years ago. I think I paid $5.99, but I think they're more now. But they're still really inexpensive, and you can get a good number to play with. So that's what I'm going to do next. it up off camera a little bit. I just did a little more playing with the flower, added a few rub-ons, but 
they weren't cooperating, so I didn't add too many. Right here, 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 here. And I sealed the page, and I just uh, took a piece of um, book text and um, gessoed over it and wrote the word forever, and then kind of distressed it a little bit with some paint, and then went around it with my pen, and then signed it. And that's all I did. So, let's show you this up close. I really like how it turned out. And I might put some black splatters on it, but I'll wait and decide tomorrow. Here's our inspiration page. And here's our finished page. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, and thank you again, Eileen, for the inspiration for the little girl. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.